So there are a ton of analysts, YouTubers, people on all of social media trying to make these long, complicated videos about Tesla. So the truth is, is that most everyday investors, they don't have time to connect all of these dots. I sure didn't. And I kept on trying to figure out why is this stock thinking that, why do people think that this stock is going to explode? Well, you're about to find out in the next 11 videos. In this series, I'm going to talk about why Tesla is so much more than a car company. I'm breaking down each of Tesla's business units and showing how, if they deliver, could drive the stock price exponentially, expon to the moon exponential in the next five to 10 years. So I am pulling insights from CERN Basher. He has done many models of Tesla, one of my favorite analysts. ARK Invest, her valuation models and her team's evaluation models. And obviously she is a big Tesla bull. And then James from Invest Answers. These three have done some of the deepest dives into Tesla's future. And honestly, they have made me a lot of money since I found them on X. And what you'll see in this video and the subsequent series is that the numbers are going to blow your mind. Depending on which model you look at, their projections for Tesla stock price range from 600 by the end of 2025 all the way up to 48,000 by 2034. Now that's an extreme bull case, but wouldn't that be something? Let's dive in and start with one of the most underrated pieces of Tesla's empire, mega packs and energy storage. So mega packs, again, people talking like they know what they're talking about or that we assume what they are. But let me break it down for you. Mega packs are giant batteries designed for grid storage. Think of them like huge versions of the battery in your phone or laptop. But instead of powering your electronics, they help store electricity for entire neighborhoods, cities, or even big companies. Now, here's why this matters. Renewable energy sources like solar and wind don't produce power all the time. Obviously, the sun has to go down down and it doesn't shine at night. Sometimes wind stops blowing, but people, we still need power 24-7. Lights, factories, hospitals, data centers, all of it needs power. That's where mega packs come in. So they store extra energy where there's too much, like during sunny or windy periods, and release it back to the grid when demand spikes or renewable output drops. It helps keep the grid stable and it avoids blackouts. You know, I mean, I was a California resident and none of us loved the rolling blackouts. But here's the kicker is that Tesla doesn't just build the batteries. They've paired them with AutoBidder, their AI software. Here we go again, mentioning AI in another video. AutoBidder can automatically buy and sell energy on the electricity market at the best times to maximize profit. For example, if electricity prices spike because everyone's running their air conditioners on a hot afternoon, AutoBidder can decide to sell energy from the mega packs at those peak prices. Now, when prices drop overnight, it can buy back power cheaply to recharge the battery. It's like having an automated energy trader working 24-7, squeezing every dollar out of the energy markets. Once scaled, it's basically a money printer. And here's why mega packs and energy storage are so important for AI and the investment world. Data centers and AI computing need massive, steady power. Grok, ChatGPT, it's not just a fancy software. It's physical hardware that consumes tons of electricity. And as AI adoption grows, as it's going to explode over the next five to 10 years, reliable energy storage becomes even more crucial to maintain this exponential growth. China gets it. That's a whole other video, but they are far surpassing what we understand about the implications of electricity in the United States. Now, again, we have slowly been transitioning to clear types of energy. Governments and businesses worldwide are racing to shift away from fossil fuels because they're are not infinite, but renewables alone aren't reliable without storage. Mega packs make the whole system work. So why is mega packs such a big deal? Because huge profit margins. Energy storage is a trillion dollar market in the making, and Tesla's mega packs could capture a big piece of that, delivering high margin revenue. So before I get into the numbers, I want to clarify the difference between profit and revenue. So think of revenue as the total cash coming in from sales, like all the money in your lemonade stand makes in a day, and profit 
This is what is left after subtracting costs. Lemons, the cups that you serve them in, you were time, you got to pay yourself, and basically the money that you actually pocket. This helps show why mega packs could be a huge deal for Tesla's growth and your investments. Now, let's start with CERN Basher's model from his recent video breakdown. He projects Tesla producing about 40,000 mega packs in 2025, ramping up at around 50% growth each year after that. So by 2030, that could mean roughly 24.6 billion in revenue. And long term, say by 2034 or beyond, he sees the scaling to trillions in value thanks to sky high profit margins. Meaning after cost, like materials and manufacturing, Tesla keeps almost all of the revenue as profit. Now these numbers seem conservative, but solid. Tesla's Q1 2025 deployment was already a record 10.4 gigawatt hours, and that's a measure of storage capacity. Up a whopping 156% year over year. And their new Shanghai Megapack factory, starting Q1 of 2025, could push production way higher. Now, ARK Invest takes a slightly different angle in their June 2024 Tesla model. They forecast energy storage, including Megapacks, hitting about 850 by 2029, which could bring in 20 to 30 billion in revenue. But they cap it there because they think Tesla might shift batteries to higher profit areas like robotaxis if supplies get a little bit tight because rare earth and the manufacturing and what, how much, all the things that are needed to produce the batteries, I get it. So revenue here is a total from selling mega packs, but profits would be lower after expenses. So ARC estimates around 30 to 40% margins, initially leaving six to 12 billion in actual profit. Now this makes sense. You know, ARC's view is cautious and it focuses on like real world limitations when it comes to battery production and battery shortages. Now James from Invest Answers is the most bullish. He calls mega packs a 2025 explosion in his May 2025 substack and the vid in his subsequent videos he predict he predicts the Shanghai factory could drive 100 billion in annual revenue by 2030 with a 50 to 60 percent profit margin and that's because mega packs aren't just batteries paired with AI software like this auto bidder that I spoke about previously they optimize energy trading for extra reoccurring cash now his numbers align with Tesla's recent deals ie with you utilities for massive deployments and the global push for renewable energy and the data centers that are all going to need to be powered and they could be powered with solar farms if Tesla grabs 20 to 30 percent of the projected 200 billion global energy storage market by 2030 which is a realistic slice per Bloomberg and McKinsey revenue could indeed hit 40 to 60 billion yearly with profits at about 80 percent margin landing around 32 to 48 billion. What all of this means to us, why it's important, <laughs> is that it could add 150 to $300 per share to Tesla's stock, which is a nice boost from now if you are planning to buy and hold. Look, the bottom line for Tesla newbies is that, or if you've been holding Tesla for a while and you just want some more conviction as to why you're holding, like myself, is that mega packs matter because they're high profit and most money stays with Tesla after low costs. The demand is exploding for green energy to power the needs of AI, and they could make Tesla less car dependent. Again, Tesla is not just a car company. So in the next video, I'm going to dive into the same kind of analysis, but this time I'm going to focus on RoboTaxi. We'll look at the total addressable market, the scale, the speed of adoption, and of course, how all of that could impact Tesla's stock. And remember what we just covered today was only one business unit. We've still got 10 more to go. Meanwhile, Tesla stock is sitting around $330 a share as of this video, which in my opinion is an absolute gift, a blessing considering the potential ahead and considering all of the research that I did and the videos that are about to happen. You're going to be mind blown at the potential that this stock has over the next five to 10 years. That's why everybody is so bullish about Tesla. So stay tuned if you found this helpful. Make sure you subscribe, you like the video, and of course, check out the series and the Tesla playlist. And I'll see you soon. Bye.